Welcome back to part 25 of Pokemon Soul Silver. Last time we made it to Mahogany Town. This time, uh, we're just gonna go. Oh, wait, do I have to heal up? Uh, no, we don't. So we're just gonna go ahead straight up north to the Lake of Rage. It has been, oh gosh, like almost two weeks since I recorded something, which is crazy. Uh, who? Well, you're useless. If you don't know who I have to give the red scale to, you're useless. Is it Mr. Pokemon? It's probably Mr. Pokemon. Uh, I might cut battles out. I haven't decided yet. Uh, we're going to show this one, though. It's been like two weeks since I recorded something, so I'm hoping that I'm energized. Uh, I don't know why so many people clicked on episode 5 of Dragon Ball Z Budokas 3. Like, I, I genuinely don't understand it. Uh, apparently, my discussion about Goku vs. Vegeta fights has been... was incredibly... Uh, conversation worthy because people commented about how many times Goku or Vegeta had beaten one another but it's just kind of weird because I'm just like I don't know why y'all are so into that but uh shout out y'all um so I might do another Dragon Ball Z playthrough I had one in mind in particular and like I might do it just because it's it's like one of my favorite like I so I recently played this game recently for like the 10th or 20th time whatever it was and it's like one of my favorite games of all time and it's not even like that in depth it's not that crazy it's 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 not super special i've mentioned this on the channel before um but so as to not hold myself to doing it. i'm not gonna say the name of the game but i might boot it up i might boot it up sometime in the next few weeks um one of the things i wasn't gonna do was i was gonna do a playthrough of every sonic game like every mainline sonic game and for my you know 10 year anniversary of making these videos and I realized I don't necessarily have the time or the actual yearning to want to do that. Though I might pick like a few Sonic games to play through this month just because I do love Sonic and hate Sonic all in the same breath. Um, so part of me is saying, part of me is saying to do, okay, I have plenty of places with Sonic 1 and 2. Part of me is saying to do like a playthrough of Sonic 3, like the Tails run that I never, that I've never actually done. That I always say I'm gonna do that I never do. Uh, what else could I play Sonic Sonic wise that I haven't played recently? This has nothing to do with Pokemon. But we're just it's just okay. This is kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is kind of weird, and I don't know why I remember this. Not that sign, but the fact there's a gate. There's a gate to Route 43, and then there's another gate. Oh, I know where that's. I, this is why there's a gate. Let's go in here. Hold it there, kiddo. The toll is a thousand polka dollars to go through. Thank you very much. Oh, they just they just rob you. They just just They just rob you. So you don't have to go this way. You don't have to go this way at all. And uh, I'm not gonna go this way. Um actually let's see, how much money do I have? I don't actually know. I think they might card you multiple times. Alright, let's try it again. They might card you multiple times and just Oh you do have to go do you have to go this way? <gasps> oh that's crazy. Okay, now I'm kind of curious what happens if I don't have enough money. Do they just take it? Oh god, I should have... I, sh I should like Google that or something. Leave a comment if you know what they do if they uh, if you have no money at this point in the game. Which is like, that'd be kind of hard to do. Like, you'd have to actively spend. Alright, so we're going to do something. Because the power of save states compels me. Um, this, is, this is what Pokemon LPs are all about. All right, so bear with me. This is the one and only time you'll see me using save states in this video, in this game. But I have a question, and that question is pointless because I might have to fly somewhere else. Is there a store? There's no store here. Oh, okay, cool. All right, let's just, uh... I can't even, oh, oh, wait, wait, maybe, maybe, hold on. Oh, let's let's do okay we're gonna reboot slave slave style one <laughs> one premiere ball all right I should have save stated like back by the place okay so let's go back here we have 
126 polka dollars. What happens? So this is why I do these let's plays because I could play this game a million times and I have, I've played Pokemon Soul Silver like three or four times in my life. Uh, mostly because I didn't want to keep overwriting the save because I like had my save file for a lot, for like a super long time. Um, and I eventually overwrote it. Pay what you have. Pay what you have. Oh my gosh, Team Rocket. Team Rocket is, is fair? Is just? That's the, that's the title of this video. Pay what you have. Team Rocket is just. That's crazy. They're not trying to extort people. I mean, they are, but they're not extorting people who have nothing. Like, if you're destitute, if you're destitute, all right, let's just go, let's just jump back. There we go. Um, if you're destitute, if you have no cash, they'll just let you go through. That's crazy. I had no idea. Uh, but that's, that's what I'm saying. That's why I do these playthroughs, because I have these conversations with myself that lead me to think about games in ways that I don't usually think about them. I think gaming in general is a pretty interesting thing for me because for a lot of people, gaming is a very active activity. And to some degree it is for me too. Like I'm, I'm playing, uh, if I play Grand Theft Auto, I'm thinking not just about the story, but I'm thinking about some of the different implications or different facets of life in Liberty City, um, whether or not I'm making it less play. Uh, but then some, game, some games like Pokemon, I'm just sort of experiencing them as I play them, and I'm just enjoying them for what they are as I play them. So I don't necessarily think, all right, we'll show this battle. I don't necessarily think too hard about them other than like, oh, I like this music. Oh, I like this Pokemon. What Pokemon will I catch? Ah, I have to fight this trainer. Why does this trainer have five Magikarps? Like, it's more passive thought. And then it's only when I revisit the game that I'm like, huh, whether or not I'm playing a Let's Play. It's like, huh, this is, this is interesting. That's interesting. Uh, and then when I'm actually in a let's play situation where I'm verbalizing things and I'm asked, I'm tasked with with speaking during gameplay, that's when I come up with different things. I'm like, oh, it might be interesting if, I wonder what happens if, it's just great. That's literally the whole reason why I make these videos. As I've said numerous times, I made these videos for myself. They're sort of a time capsule for me to see what I was playing, what I was doing, what I was interested in at a given period of my life. And it just so happens that I've hit 10 years of making these videos and I'm gonna try to keep going for as long as I can. I've never once, okay, that's not true. There was a early on time where I was like, I'm gonna try to get subscribers. And like, I wanted to try to get subscribers. And that was like, the, that was a goal of mine. And then after that period, <clears throat> like, oh God, after that period, I sort of just went on with my life and didn't really think too hard about it and I still don't and it's interesting that 10 years on I'm finally getting you know multiple subscribers a month but it's just I don't know it's just nice to be able to go back to these videos and and just see what I'm into and what I think about certain things all right all that said uh, we're gonna not throw on repel because oh do I have a cutter I don't have I might not have a cutter Magikarp or Quillfish? Magikarp. Magikarp, you suck. Oh, I can catch you and just turn you into a freaking Gyarados. Easy peasy lemon squeezing. Um, but what else is new? Yeah, I I, I want to play more Pokemon or more Sonic games. I don't know what that's going to look like. What I kind of want to do is like a playthrough of Sonic Heroes or a playthrough. Do I have Cutter? I do. Play through a Sonic Heroes or play through a Sonic um, Adventure 2 that I you know never finished. I think that would be great. But I realized I don't really have the patience to play those games. Um, Sonic Adventure, Sonic Heroes is, is no big deal. It's Sonic Heroes, or well, Sonic Heroes for like three of the four stories is no big deal. I don't think I've ever finished the... Uh, Team Chaotic story. I'm gonna put Repel on because those magic card pissed me off. I don't think I've ever finished Team Chaotic story because you have to like find stuff. You have to do missions. I don't want to do missions. Missions are lame. It's a Sonic game. I want to run fast. All right, I'm gonna cut this guy out. And we're back. That homie had two Magikarp and one Gyarados, which I used uh, Kuromicha to take out. She is level 30. Is still not, still not very good, frankly. 
Like, I'm just saying, frankly, it's she's not very good. Hopefully we get some TMs, um, like Earthquake or something. Maybe we just like randomly find Earthquake on this route. That would be sick. Today's M. Today's M? Today's Monday, not M. I know, what's this item? There's no item? There's no item. <gasps> Worth Lake of Rage. It rains with Lake of Rage in this game. That's kind of cool. Um, interesting. Interesting. Go in the hole. Interesting thing about the Lake of Rage is there are different segments here, different areas, and uh, it's kind of cool because it, okay, this this kind of reminds me of freaking Quartz Quadrant from Sonic CD. Go watch my multiple playthroughs of Sonic CD. I have a playlist and I have like others in my Sonic uh, Origins playlist. I think I play like once or twice. Uh, and there's like, if you go to the past Quartz Quadrant, Quartz Quadrant isn't like a mechanical nightmare an ecological, e ecologically devastated area, and it has like a lake, and there's a bunch of fallen timber in the lake, almost as though beavers were building dams in the in the lake. Um, I don't know why I've been emphasizing some of my words like that. It's just been something I've been doing lately, so don't mind me. And this kind of reminds me of Quartz Quadrant, which also, fun fact, if you haven't been with the channel long, you would know that Quartz Quadrant uh, passed and Good Future are both, are two of my favorite songs in any Sonic game of all time. Uh, I might put them in, I probably won't go, but I might, I might, I might put them in. I'm, okay, I'm, I'm definitely gonna try to remember to put those songs in. I'll put in, I'll put in Good Future, cause Good Future's really good. Cause it has the birds, like listen to the birds, you hear the birds at the beginning whenever I started playing the song. And then, Team 43, that's Secret Power, hey -o. And then it's just so groovy. The good future and or the the present and the bad future are fine, but the past and the uh, the good future are my two favorites. Easily, easily. Um, so there's that. And what is this house? This is so anticlimactic. Like I never come this way. You straight far. Here I've meditated inside a new power channel. Let me share your power. Let me show you how you put your Pokemon take this child. Obtain the TM10. That's hidden power. Hey -o. Yeah, call by John. Alrighty, so we got hidden power. Um, is there. Oh, I was about to say, is there a freaking Kecleon in the middle of the. But no, it's just my ineptitude. That dude has to swim or surf every time he wants to leave his house. I guess if you're like. A monk or something or like a like a psychic though it's kind of interesting because that guy did not have the overworld sprite of a psychic he had like the um they're not fishermen i'm trying to think of who that sprite what type what trans type is usually associated with that sprite well anyway uh what's over here can we go over here <gasps> we can that's red gyarados hey oh um well, this is where we would have gotten off if we went through uh, the rest of the lake. I'm gonna fight this fool. I'll be right back. Wait, I should. Oh, I should have raised dialogue. Like, now I'll be right back. And we're back. We just had some hot Nido King on Nido Queen action. I took took the Nido King down with uh, a couple strength attacks. All right, I'm gonna cut this fool out too. Is, is Nido, wait, is it Nido Queen? If it's Nido Queen, we gotta show it. It better be Nido Queen. Oh, it's Slowbro. All right, peace. And we're back. I can't believe I forgot to. Uh, Get this item. It's Max Ether. Ether, Ether, get Ether, bitch. Um, it's Max Ether. So that's nice. Oh god, do I do the freaking? No, I'm, I'm. I have to show it. I have to show it. Fishing Guru's house. I was gonna like end the episode. Just do like a cool 12 minute episode. And uh. Oh wait, you're not gonna give me a rod? Can I get a rod, my G? That's it. All right, that's fine. Um, and I'll just do this in the next episode but like the next episode is going to be just all battles so we're just gonna just gonna look around here real quick what do you have to tell me I heard this lake was made by ramping Gyarados did you like hear it from the dude who was at the start of this lake like at the entrance because he's literally just telling anybody who asks it's not like it's not some secret trivia 
The lagging tail item is clearly an Onyx's tail, and I kind of... Well, first off, Onyx's whole body is a tail. Like, okay, a rattlesnake? You could say a rattlesnake, a rattlesnake has a tail, because it has a tail that rattles, right? But then, like, a regular, like, garter snake or something. Is it garter snake or garden snake? I thought it was garter. But then some people say garden, and I'm like, is it a gar- It's a garter snake in your garden? A garden snake? The Gyarados are angry. It's a bad omen. All right, let's just switch folks. But anyway, like, a regular snake, like, no feet from the acclaimed children's television show Little Bear. Go watch Little Bear. Um, he's, his whole body is tail. So, do, like, lagging tail. Is it an onyx's tail, or is it just, like, rocks in the shape of onyx because onyx's whole body is tail all right talk to me talk to me Gyarados. gesha well that's like what uh shadow says in uh what's that game sonic here's or is it knuckles he's like sha in ocean palace see those are the things that just live in your head and you can't get rid of it the fact that you know what knuckles says when he goes off of one of the freaking launch ramps in uh What's the name of the game? Sonic Heroes. He goes, Sha! Like, like the average person doesn't understand that. But then someone who's played Sonic Heroes and it left an indelible print on their mind, like they will get that reference. And you're just like, what am I supposed to do with that? How am I supposed to live my life knowing that like that's what I think about? When I'm sitting in a work meeting, that's what's in my head. Sha! Or like, what does he say? When he meets Rouge and he's like, that shouldn't kill, that shouldn't kill, that shouldn't kill. Oh, you suck. I was meant to catch him. I was meant to catch him. I was I was supposed to catch him. It doesn't matter, it's a let's play. I'm not using Red Gyarados. I was trying to catch him. I thought Growl would have cut my attack and uh, Thrash would have cut my attack. We got the red skill, that's all that matters. Uh, Gyarados is your like quintessential example of a uh, Pokemon, a uh, shiny Pokemon. Can I walk past him? <gasps> I can. You can just walk right past him. That's crazy. All right. What if I walk up to you? Okay, he doesn't just auto talk to you. What does the sign say? No. Okay. Does it tell you what Pokemon is? Dragonite. Hey, oh. I love Dragonite. He's a doofy looking move. That red Gyarados wasn't acting right. As I feared, somebody must have forced it to evolve. Did you come here because of the wild tales? You're Louie. I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I've heard some rumblings, so I came to investigate. I saw the way you battled earlier, Louie. I can tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? Yes. Excellent. It seems that the Lake of Rage's magic are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from Mahogany is the cause. I'll be waiting for you, Louie. And he just flies off like a bad jabroni out here. That's crazy. Uh... Yeah, we're gonna end the LP here soon. You could go back through there and get Highway Robbed again, but you could just jump down this ledge. That's nice. Love that for me. And we're gonna end up back in Mahogany Town, where I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon because Nido Queen has like no HP left. And we're gonna get ready for one of the most brutal scenes in all of Pokemon, 2D or 3D, that I can I can think of. Really, it's like. There's not a lot of actual brutality. Okay, there's stuff like the Magikarp or the the, um, the Slowpoke getting their tails chopped off, but you don't see it. It's just told that that's what happens. Or like, even like Magikarp getting forced to evolve. It's like, okay, that's kind of harsh, but you don't really see it in that stuff. This, this is pretty hardcore. And then we'll end the episode. You just walk in on this Dragonite Hyper Beam. And just murks that fool. It would be awful if he like fell. If they animated his sprite falling. It's like like from his standing sprite into just a different sprite. Like the, like the guy in the first Pokemon who's like lying on the street. That would be cool. Just as I thought. That strange radio signal is coming from here. He's probably like move or I'll make you move. The stairs are right here. Louis, we should split up to check this place. I'll go first. And we will split up to check this place next time on Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.
Have a great day.